Number 97. That's us. 97? Oh, right here? <laughs> hey, you guys have been randomly selected for a Culver's quality control check. Awesome. The fries sometimes are super hot. Ooh. Oh, yeah. They're good? They're really good. Those are hot fries. Hello, welcome to Culver's. What can I get for you today? Can I get a butter burger? Excuse me one second. How was that? Scale of one to 10. Technically, so we are supposed to say what we can make fresh for you today. Did you bring ketchup? I've let you guys down, free ketchup. Thank you. I was driving to Milwaukee for a baseball game. Everyone was like, oh, oh, Culver's, we should stop. And I was like, what's Culver's? And then someone used the phrase butter burger and they're like, oh no, chef, this is gonna change your life. In many ways, it kinda did change my life. <laughs> um, First of all, I became a fan right away. The burger tasted like a burger. The custard was coming out in a never-ending flow, like a river of, of white gold. Culver's became, for me, that iconic Midwestern place. And that's when I started to evangelize for it in public. The marketing folks here were like, let's have you down to Sauk City and you know hang out with us for a day. Hey, What's Andrew? up, Craig? <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen. How are you? Can I grab an apron and uh, get a little lesson? That looks good on you. You ready for a second job? You know, I've cooked at the White House. I've cooked in a lot of fancy places. I'm nervous making a butter burger in front of you. I've cooked in a White House, I'm not but, <laughs> but not that White House. <laughs> well, let's make a double butter burger. OK, let's that's my standard. Yeah, but first of all, we got to butter the yep. crown of the bun. Perfect, just like that. That smell is intoxicating. I mean, you use really good beef. You can smell the difference in this hamburger before you even bite into it. And that seared crust, I mean, that's... Yep, that's where you get that steaky flavor. I mean, look at that. That is butter burger heaven right there. Looks good. If it looks good, eat it. Someone right. famous once said that. Wait. I thought that was very funny. <laughs> mm. Can't stop, won't stop. Everyone should have a local place that everyone can go and have a great meal and you're greeted with a smile and the food is delicious and you can share at that experience of, oh my gosh, it's better than good. Did you taste this? Did you taste mine? What'd you get on yours? And you have that whole thing going on. I don't think it's a reach to say that those are the things that build memories. <laughs> Who's having the chocolate with the cookie dough? I'll take that one. Thank you. Okay, bring it in, night. bring it in. Cheers. How many Culver's custards a day should kids across America be eating for optimum health? What do you think? One a day. One a day? Kind of like a vitamin. Have you ever dipped fries in the custard? You mean Minnesota fondue? <laughs> Have you tried the red raspberry custard? You haven't had it? No. Do you know so I'm gonna get you one. I just like giving stuff away. I don't mix fruit with dessert. <laughs> I like I like a woman who's committed in principle. In high school especially, like this is the hangout spot. You'd come to Culver's with all your girlfriends. So yeah, this was the cool place to come. Why this is it the, still the place? place. Yes. Yeah. No such thing as too much cheese what? and no such thing as too much we custard. We need Colby, it's the state cheese. You know you're in Wisconsin when there's a child named Colby at the table <laughs> and daddy says you can't have too much cheese. <laughs> So a lot of people think about Culver's as, as a restaurant, and it is, and they think about it as a brand, and I guess technically it is, but what I've learned today is that Culver's is about a lot more than that. It's about family, it's about tradition, it's about community, it's about the love of custard, it's about gathering in a place where you can share time with friends. It's about having an experience and not just a meal, and it's about respect and love for one another. All of it delivered from Wisconsin with love. That's a hot fry, careful young man. Now that I've got the grill seasoned and I'm sort of feeling it. Well, you could have done a little better yeah. job here. <laughs> I've broken the machine. Do you want this one? I'll take that one. Did I look like I needed more? You looked like you were drooling. Yeah, yeah you're drooling away. And was it love at first sight? For Culver's, for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I took a little bit longer. But it was very soon right after. Now you're making me cry, you see that? Okay.